My favorite spell is Steel Wind Strike. And the small problem I have with it is it's is who can use it. I feel that its limitation there really makes it almost unusable. So, for those of you not familiar with the spell, let's take a look. Steel Wind Strike is a 5th level conjuration spell. It has a casting time of 1 action, a range of 30 feet, has semantic and material components, and the material is simple, it's just a melee weapon worth a silver piece, and it's a duration of instantaneous. You flourish the weapon in the casting, and then vanish to strike like the wind, choosing up to five creatures you can see within range. Make a melee spell attack against each of the targets, and on a hit, a target takes 6d10 force damage. You can then teleport to an unoccupied space that you can see within five feet of one of those targets that you hit or missed. Now, the problem with this spell is that it's limited to only rangers and wizards. A ranger can make great use of it, but at 5th level, it means it can't get that spell until level 17. So, because it comes on so late, it's almost as if the ranger never has it. Um, wizards can get it much earlier, obviously, but how many wizards are wanting to get into melee range with an enemy? Typically, you're staying back. Yes, this spell does a lot of damage, and you may be able to pick a target that uh, either goes down to zero hit points and now you're away from things, or you can pick something like uh, an artificer's uh, turret, or maybe even your own familiar. And I'm sorry, familiar, I'll just bring you back eventually, but um, right now I need a getaway. But for the most part, classes that could really use a cool spell like this don't have access to them. Eldritch Knights or Arcane Rogues would be tremendous with this, and their spell slots don't go high enough. One exception are bards. Uh, they can use their magical secrets in order to acquire the spell, and then they can have some fun with it, but again, you're in that case, you're building a frontline bard. Not uncommon, but it's still not ideal. I think a simple solution to this is to make it a third level spell. Uh, so I've designed a way to for my players to be able to get access to this. So let's take a look at that. It still has the same uh, casting time, duration, and components and whatnot. Uh, sometimes I attach it to a sp specific magic item um, so therefore that's the material component uh, but that for the most part is the same the other way I would change it is really in the damage in instead of the 6d10 I decided I'd drop the damage die and the amount of die by 2 for since we're moving from 5th to 3rd level spell as well as you could flavor the damage to be whatever you want. Uh, maybe this is just some sort of epic samurai sword and therefore still deals slashing. Or this could be tied to uh, a character like a dragonborn eldritch knight who, spo who specializes in fire. It could be a fire damage where uh, these clones of fire surround the enemies and then you pick which one you go into assuming it hits and that's another thing I've changed is that place you can teleport is limited to only creatures you hit when you cast the spell and for a little bit of extra fun and bonus to the player who gets to use the spell allow them to still keep the weapon damage so it's basically they come in as their clone is swinging and they deal both the clone damage and themselves. Now granted on a crit that means that it can do incredible amounts of damage to a specific target. However, it's still a third level spell so the classes that could better use this 
are still getting the mid-level, around level 13, to be exact. And in that sense, I mean, dealing a lot of damage is probably going to be needed, especially if they're giving up their extra attack if you're a fighter. You know, this could be just a really fun, powerful spell that they have limited access to. And, again, I feel like it opens up the door a lot for this really fun spell that's usually limited to squishies and very, very late-game rangers, which is not exactly the most popular class. So, I don't know, this is just a spell that I really like, I really enjoy, and I really like letting my players uh, enjoy and use. Uh, so let me know what you think. Maybe it's not uh, strong enough, maybe it's too strong. Or, you know, maybe you can think of other ways that players can access this spell uh, in your games and, uh, you know, just give me your thoughts.